In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use NVM. NVM stands for Node Version Manager, and it allows you to install multiple versions of Node. This is really helpful when you work on multiple projects and they all use different versions of Node. This is Coding with Adam, and let's get to the code. The first thing we need to do is go to the NVM GitHub. So we can simply go ahead and Google for that and it should be the first result. Once we're on the NVM GitHub page, we can scroll down to the installing and updating section. And all we need to do is copy a command over here. So we can click on this button to copy the command. And then we're going to need to open up our terminal. So I'm going to be using ZSH on my Mac. And then all we do is we go ahead and we paste that command in and execute it. It's going to go ahead and install NVM for us. If you like how my command prompt looks, you can check out my other video on how to customize ZSH. Now to run NVM, we simply need to type NVM and hit enter, but doing that after we've downloaded and run the installation script won't work just right away. After installing NVM, the terminal doesn't recognize the NVM command because the environment variables and initialization script have been not loaded into the terminal session. Now we can go ahead and force this by just opening a new session. So I'm going to hit command N. I'm going to type NVM dash V and we can see that we have the NVM command. Next, I'm going to show you where NVM is installed and we can find that by navigating to our home directory, then listing our files with the dash A, which will show hidden files. And you'll see that there is a dot NVM folder and that's where NVM is installed. The other part of the installation is to go ahead and install the startup script and depending on your terminal it'll install it in the different startup file for that terminal and since we're using zshrc over here it's going to install it in that file for us so if i go ahead and just open up that file we'll see that in the file it's added several lines for us in these lines over here it loads the nvm and then loads the nvm bash completion and this will be executed every single time we open up a new terminal instance and if we wanted to uninstall nvm it would be as simple as going ahead and deleting the nvm directory and then going ahead and just removing these lines from our profile next let's go ahead and learn how to use nvm so one of the first things we can do is we can use nvm to go ahead and list the versions of node that we haven't installed you can see so far we don't have any versions installed so let's go ahead and install our first version of node and we're going to do that by typing nvm install and then we're going to install the latest long-term support version now, once we've done that, we can go ahead and run NVM list to confirm the version of Node that we've installed. You can see that we only have one version of Node installed right now, and that's version 22.16. Anything that's in green is what we have installed. The versions in yellow and red are other ones that we can install. Now, really to confirm this, go ahead and type node-version. You're going to see that we're using version 22.16 here. Now the real magic and power of NVM is that we can install different versions. So let's go install a different version. Let's install version 20. You'll see that it goes ahead and installs it. Then it also sets our current version of node to version 20. Now if we go ahead and type node, Dash version we're going to see that we're now using version 20 and then once again we can go ahead and type nvm list but this time we're going to see that we have several versions of node we have version 20 over here and this arrow over here is telling us that's the current version that we're using version 22 is another version that we have installed now there's this thing over here and they call this the alias and the, it's defaulting to version 22. So if I go ahead and open up a new command prompt and I typed node dash dash version, you'll see that it's using version 22. Well, let's go ahead and change our default version of node to 20. And the way we're going to do that was we'll use nvm alias and we're going to change the default to version 20. And we can see that it set our default to version 20, which actually is 20.19.2. We can also see that over here if we type nvm list, we'll see that the default version is set to 20. 
And we can go ahead and confirm this by opening a new terminal window and then typing node-version and we'll see that it's set to version 20. Now if we just want to switch between versions of node, we can type nvm use and then give it the version number. So I'll give it version 22 and now it switched my node to version 22 and we can confirm that over here by doing node-version and then let's switch back to version 20 so we type nvm use 20 and then we can do the same thing and we do no dash version and we see now it's 20. If we try and do nvm use a version that doesn't exist, it's going to tell us that it's not installed yet. It'll even give us the command over here if we like to install it. And we can go ahead and install that version then and it automatically switches you to the version that you installed. If I go ahead and type node-version over here, we'll see that we're on version 18. But if we do an NVM list, we're going to see that our default version is still 20, but the version that we're currently using is always the arrow over here, and it's pointing to version 18. Let's take a look at how we would use NVM in different projects. So let's say that we have two different projects over here. One project on the left over here called project one and then project two on the right. So in project one, if we check the current version of node, we're using version 20. And if we do the same thing over here, we're also going to be using version 20. If we're working by ourselves, we technically could go ahead and just type nvm use and switch to the correct version of Node. However, this would be a little bit difficult if you're working in a larger team. We need something to signify for each project which version of Node we're using. And one way we could do this is with a special file that we can put in each project. And I'll show you how we can do that. That file is going to be called a dot n vmrc file. Now inside of this file all we do is specify the version of node that we're using and we'll just quickly jump to the terminal over here and we're going to say that for this particular project over here we want to use version 18. So inside of this file we just simply put one line with v18.20.8. We can have the specific version that we need for this project. Now let's go ahead and use our .nvmrc file. So I'm going to close my terminal and I'll quickly open up a new one over here and we'll type node-version and we'll see that we're using a version 20. Now all we have to do is type nvm use. Don't specify a version. It's going to find that file as it specifies over here. And then it says that it switches to version 18. So if we go ahead and type node-version, you'll see that we're using version 18. So so as a developer, whenever you see a .nvmrc file, you know that a specific version of Node is being used and that you should switch to it by using nvm use. And then as we have two different projects over here, we can now add another .nvmrc file over here. And then in this project over here, we can choose another version of a node. We'll say we're using version 20 and we'll copy that full name over there and we'll paste it in over here. And then if we go ahead and we just open up a new terminal over here and we just do our nvm use, you'll see that it's going to switch to that version of node. Now, one special thing to note is I had these versions of Node already installed on my machine. So let's go ahead and pick a version that's not installed, and we're going to pick version 19. And let's go ahead, and then we're going to run nvm use over here. Now, what it's going to tell me is that it's not installed, and that I need to go ahead and run nvm install. So I can just type nvm install and then it's going to read the .nvmrc file over here and it's going to install the version that it finds in it. So if I hit enter, it goes ahead and installs a version 19 and then switches to that version so that we can type node-version and we see that it's version 19. Now having to type nvm install, nvm use every single time can be cumbersome. So the creators of NVM have also created some helpful scripts that can do it automatically for you. 
Now, if we jump to the documentation over here, we'll see that there's a section called NVMRC, but right below it, there's a deeper shell integration and it can automatically call NVMUs when it finds a .NVMRC file in a directory. Now, the terminal that we're using is ZSH. So I'm going to click on ZSH, but if you're using bash, click on the bash one. And then all we have to do is copy this script over here and add it to our .ZSHRC file. And the way I'm going to open that is I'm just going to jump to my command prompt over here. I'm going to type code and then I'm going to go to the directory, which is the home directory, which was where the .zshrc file is. I'm going to open up in VS code over here. And then in their instructions, they mentioned to just add this to the bottom of the file. We're going to go ahead and save that. Then I'm going to go ahead and just open another command prompt over here. And as soon as I did that, you can see that it automatically switched to version 19. Now, the even cooler part about this script is that it'll automatically install it for you as well if it's not installed. So let's pick a version that we don't have. And we're just going to pick version 16. I'm going to open up a new command prompt. And now what you'll see is it's actually downloading and installing the version of Node and then switching me to version 16. So I think this is the best way to use NVM is adding that script to your startup so it automatically switches to the correct version of node whenever you switch directories and just to show you real quick as i jump back a directory it switched back to the default version that we have installed on the system which is 22 and then if i jump into the project folder number one you're going to see that it will switch to version 20. so wherever we are it's going to be switching to the correct version of node on my computer and for illustration purposes, we can also do it from the larger command prompt that I have over here, where I can go ahead and just switch to project one, and you'll see that it automatically switches versions. If we go back a directory, it reverts back to the default version on my system, which is 22, or we can go ahead and switch to project two, which is another version that we're using of node, which is version 16. If you enjoyed this tutorial, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.